Welcome to Aunt Hetty's Creative Home. I'm Heather. Today I'm going to take you through an Amish country drive and we'll have an Amish grocery store haul that I'll show you at the end. So the Amish settlement that I'm close to is in Iowa and it's about 10 miles from our home. We try to make it over there Oh, hopefully once a month, but at least I'd say eight times a year we get over there. And it's end of July, 1st of August right now, and so things are very green in Iowa. And I'm showing some of the homes, right there's a school, and I'll just kind of let you take in the site. And if there's anything worth noting, I'll point it out. But most everything's pretty self-explanatory. Um, most of them have laundry out today. Um, you'll notice all the homes are white and they have red barns. There's a couple um, horse and buggies that we'll encounter on our drives. And make special note of all the beautiful gardens right now. Enjoy our ride. It is extremely dusty outside right now. Um, I apologize for the car windows being a little dirty, but it's so dry, we need rain desperately, and it's just so dusty, it's impossible to keep the car cleaned off. So here we made it to the Amish grocery store. We only went to one on this particular day. There are actually at least three that we visit frequently and a bakery, but on this particular day, we just had time to hit the one and it was a little bit of an overcast day as well and looked like rain, so we didn't stick around for very long. So this is our drive back home. This home that we're going to be passing next, I love, look at the laundry setup they have. They have it on a pulley system from the house out to the barn and I just love it when they have laundry out and we're over here. Right here on the right is another school building. They have several located throughout this settlement. And the Amish here are a group of old order Amish and so they're very conservative. Uh, they do use propane uh, for some things, like their refrigeration and things. Uh, most all of their groceries are only 
um, non-perishable food items. They did just open one that does have a cooler system. But of course, there's no air conditioning and they have wood heat in the winters. Here's an, an auction station. And they've got that auction house there. A lot of times they have people come in to do auctions there and then the Amish also have auctions there on Tuesdays. This place here has these home, this home is huge. They're together and several families live in there. I should say several family members within the same large family. So now we made it home. Uh, we spent $34 this day and I'm gonna show you what we got. We got a loaf of Texas toast for $2. Um, this package of six large bagels for a dollar. I got the stuffing mix for 65 cents. And most all of this stuff is either close to expiring. Um, some of the canned goods may have expired. So you just got to be careful. On um, the tortillas were two for a dollar. And then Michael likes to have these pork rinds at 25 cents a package. He takes them to work for snacks. We got a cheesecake for $2.50, and we've since eaten it. It was very good, close to expiration again. Um, Michael thought it was a little dry, but I thought it tasted just fine. You can see our cat Bobo back there on the cat tree. He's always nosy. We got this bag of Twix for $0.75 cents that Michael and I like to get for snacks. And then... The candy bars are 25 cents a piece over there. So I try not to get too many, but I keep a few around. Michael likes the beef sticks and, and pieces to take to work. This one was $3.50 for the package. And we got the $2.50 bacon. And the summer sausage were $2 a piece. So Michael will also take those to work. And that's a lot of what we get over at the Amish. We try to get a lot of our snack stuff over there. Um, we did get these two cucumbers and two zucchini when we were there. Because of the time of year it is, there's lots of produce. Uh, we did get this ham in the new freezer section of the one grocery store. It was $4 and I believe it was uh, a pound and a half. A dozen eggs for a dollar. We have our own chickens, but we have a lot of banties and they don't lay very big eggs. So sometimes we still need to supplement. I was able to get two cans of diced tomatoes and I believe these were 60 cents each. Michael likes the Yahoo drink and he was able to get four of those for a dollar. As you can see, it's kind of just a random assortment of things, whatever they have the best sales on. They don't always have the same things each time you go. Um, there I got a green pepper for a dollar. Like I said, this time of year, of course, they have more produce. Um, they usually only do the homemade baked goods on Fridays and Saturdays. We weren't able to stop on this particular day. We did get this very large $5 cantaloupe so hope it's good when we cut into it but here's our haul not too bad for $34 the ham at $4 and the cantaloupe at $5 were the two most expensive items so 
several of the things I had on my Walmart grocery list that I could cross off when we got home, like the tortillas and the ham and the eggs and the green pepper. We were able to have BLTs for lunch this day with that bacon and it was so good. Thank you for watching our drive and my grocery haul. If you'd like, please subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.